माननीय सभा सदो माननीय सभापति जी short duration discussion honorable members notices have been received from the following members to raise a discussion on the economic situation in the country sri derek obrian sri mohammad nadimul haq shrimati mausam noor dr sashmit patra shrimati sulata dev Sri Niranjan Bishi, Dr. Sudhansu Trivedi, Sri Rakesh Sina, Sri Brajlal, Sri V. Vijayasai Reddy, Sri Masthan Rao Bida, Sri Ayodhya Rami Reddy, Sri Birendra Prashad Baishe, Sri Ganesham Tiwadi, Dr. Lakshmi Kant Vajpai, Sri Sushil Kumar Modi, Sri Aditya Prashad, श्री शंभु शरण पटेल श्री डेरेक ओब्रियन थैंक यू वेरी मच सर फॉर अलाउंग दिस डिस्कशन ऑन एन इंपॉर्टेंट सब्जेक्ट टू बी टेकन अप सर अ शॉर्ट ड्यूरेशन डिस्कशन is a time where an op opposition mps get a chance to express ourselves and we thank you not only for taking this discussion up sir because there is a tradition here to take one short duration discussion every week not only have you taken this discussion up but the normal time for this discussion is 2 and 1/2 hours and i just noted that it's actually been expanded yes to 4 hours so we appreciate that and if this short duration discussion on an issue which is primarily put up by members of the opposition and of course and of the treasury benches so i think it will go a long way in having a house running you wanted to run 100% without any disruption let me on behalf of my party the trinamool congress and i'm sure many of my colleagues from other parties on this side share the view not 100% sir till 22nd december we'll make it run for 102% and give us one short duration discussion next week where i'm told that over 100 mps from 12 13 different political parties want to have a discussion on the steps to be taken to strengthen cooperative federalism we want to discuss this sir in a meaningful way now on the subject sir elections come and go some win some lose sir but the real winner after every election besides of course the parliamentary democracy are the people and on the subject sir <coughs> on the economy which is the subject of our discussion how is the economy looking and i think it depends on whose eyes are you looking through if you're looking at the economy this morning when you get up and if you're into the stock market you should be very happy some 69000 it the stock market should be very happy if you are looking at the economy through the eyes of the billionaires you should also be very happy and we have nothing against billionaires may their tribe increase from 142 billionaires in india 3 years ago that number is now 169 good if you are looking at the economy through the eyes of the richest 1% of everyone in india you should also be happy because the richest 1% control some 40% of the total wealth and since the finance minister is here and thank you ma'am for being here because 
whenever we try and have some meetings with ministers with our state government, the Minister of State is sent to meet us. So I really appreciate that the minister uh, herself is here. If you're looking at it through the eyes of the finance minister, you should also have not a bad Tuesday afternoon, thinking that the GDP is growing at, projected to grow at, or had 7.6% in the second quarter. <coughs> Sir, but if you look at the economy through the eyes of any family anywhere in the country, what will those eyes looking at the economy tell you, sir? Those eyes will tell you that from 2014 to 2023, the price of rice has gone up by 56%, the price of wheat by 59%, milk by 61%, Tomatoes by 115% or tur dal by 120%. Gas now has come down, but before the elections it came down. And there is a saying in Bangla, sir, Hajat takai ranna hoche bina poishar chal. You must have picked up some Bengali. Hajat takai ranna hoche bina poishar chal. In other words, the Prime Minister is giving you the gas which is a 1,000 rupees, the rice is free, but the gas is 1,000 rupees. Sir, if you look at this economy, and this is somebody I actually met, her name is Nupur Hati. She's from Hooghly district. Nupur Hati clutches on to her laminated job card because she hasn't received her Manrega wages or look at the economy to the 21 lakh workers who like Nupur Hati has worked, but it's been two years, even though she was guaranteed 15 days, she has not received these wages, adding up to some 15,000 crores, that's only one state. If you take all states, the number will be more. Or if you look at this economy through the eyes of any young man or young woman, and the economy and he or she will tell you that 25% of youth unemployment. So through you, sir, I ask this government, has this wealth which has been created, has it been passed on equitably? Has it been passed on equally? And that's the point today, sir, of what we are discussing. Yes. You have your moments, give us all the numbers, but has it gone to the bottom of the pyramid? And that's the single point today, sir, of what I am trying to say. And tell us, Madam, Fine Min Madam Finance Minister, rural inflation, higher than urban inflation for the first time in six years. And this is not election rhetoric. These are hard numbers. Household savings depleting. It is at a 50-year low in 22-23. Farmer welfare. We have to ask ourselves, why are 150 farmers committing suicide every day? Sir, yes, let the stock market go up, let the billionaires go up, sir, but spare a thought, more than a thought, for the marginalized, for the vulnerable. India has the world's highest number of poor people at 23 crores. This is what this debate on the economy should be about. The bottom 50% of our population possess only 3% of the wealth. Sir, and on a Tuesday afternoon, in this plush-looking, glitzy building, we must remind ourselves why three out of four Indians cannot afford a healthy, balanced diet. Or, worse still, 
why two out of three children in India under the age of five die of hunger. Sir, this is not the time to talk about what happened 70 years ago and what happened 60 years ago. That's why without doing any politics, we are presenting some numbers and we want the government to address these issues and find solutions to these issues. Many promises have been made. I'm not going there today because on the promises and the delivery, I want to stick very, very clearly with the economy. Sir, the point which I make on this last... But I'll give you more time. Thank you, sir. Continue, continue. Time allotted I've was got 12 minutes. minutes. They told me 12, so I don't know. If oh, no, uh, 12 is there. 12. 12 is over. But continue, continue. So while on the subject, nothing to do with this, you know, it's difficult for us to see the time because the timers are behind us. I'd request you to... You have made us a suggestion. We are doing something about it. Thank you, sir. Sir, then let me conclude. Because we have to look at the priorities of this government. I started off my story with elections. Who wins? You win. Yes, BJP, you win elections. It's another matter when you fight us, you don't win elections, we win elections. So, so let's compare equals. You win, we win. You have an outlook on the economy. Mamta Banerjee's Trinamool Congress has an outlook on the economy. What's the difference in the outlook? So one, two, and three points. Indian economy is expected to grow at 7% in the current financial year. Bengal growing at 8.4% in the current financial year. I want to leave these numbers here. Because when we are doing this growth in Bengal, it is not a divisive growth. It is an inclusive growth. Everybody has taken along. And so let me just finish, then you can uh, uh, share. I'm just in the middle of a thought. It is because, it is because you had a good governor for three years. <laughs> Go ahead. Yes, sir. <laughs> let me confirm, sir. That's the only reason all this happened. <laughs> I only don't want to add three points. So I gave you the growth number. I want to take one other number of one social sector view. On our view, the Trinamool view, because they win and we win, and the BJP view. And I'll give you one more economic number, sir, and then I'll give you the social sector. On the All India Index of Industrial Pro Production, the national average 22-23 is 5% and Bengal's growth on this has been 8%. So this is the economy. And <coughs> I'll end with one more example. As I said, it's just one example on the outlook. You have your Betty Bachao program and in the outreach for that program, about 80% of your budget for the program is for publicity and advertising. My question is, will this government and the answer tell us how many women's lives were actually touched by this program? In Bengal, which the United Nations acknowledged, we have a program called Kanyasri. If you ask me how many lives were touched I will give you an exact number, 78 lakh women benefited. Sir, I'll conclude by saying that yes, you win, we win, you have a view on the economy, we have a different view on the economy, and there's even another very, very big difference between who you are and who we are, because we also believe that no one can worship God, either in a mosque, or in a church, or in a big temple, or love his neighbor on an empty stomach. Thank you, sir.